Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Over the life of this channel, I've done quite a few videos on BSDs, and they were all in virtual machines, except for my last two videos, which were in real computers. And whenever I made a video on FreeBSD, I always followed up with a video on GhostBSD. Now, GhostBSD is built upon FreeBSD, but it's more user friendly, easier to use. Now, FreeBSD is built upon OpenBSD. And FreeBSD is more user friendly than OpenBSD. And one time on video, I tried to install OpenBSD in a virtual machine. And when I logged onto the ISO, my keyboard wouldn't work and my mouse wouldn't work. I couldn't do the install. So I posted the video anyways, and it was a really short video. And of course, at the end of the video, I said how I disappointed I was about OpenBSD. Blah, 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 right? <laughs> so like I mentioned already, my last two videos on uh, FreeBSD and GhostBSD were in a real bare metal computer for the first time using a capture card. So now in one of my computers, I was able to install OpenBSD successfully, but off camera. Whoa. Can you believe it? I didn't have my camera running. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to show you the finished product. So it's not a virtual machine, so I'm going to use my capture card to record the display from that computer. So let's get to it. So right now I'm in my main production computer, which is running Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And you see here, if I open up uh, Xterm, I'll make that uh, a little larger. And I'm going to do a fast so we can see I'm running Arch Linux. This computer is a Dell Optiplex 7010, and it's running the awesome window manager. So now I'm going to close that. And like I said, I'm going to turn on the capture card to another computer, a real computer that's running OpenBSD. So this is OpenBSD running the awesome window manager with my awesome window manager configuration file. So we're going to open up uh, Xterm. And there's no fast fetch in here, but I have NeoFetch installed. So let's do, so let's do Neo. You have to spell it right. And there we are. We're in OpenBSD 7.7. .7. It's been up for two days, 22 hours, and 45 minutes. I'm running the Zesh shell with my configuration file. And of course, I'm running Xterm with my configuration file. So now I'm going to clear the screen and let's do an HTOP. And this part I don't understand. <laughs> so you OpenBSD people who know more about it than I do might be able to give me some advice in the comments. So this is the first time I had a successful install of OpenBSD. And I don't know why two of my processors are offline. And also it's running extremely high. Uh, now the, all the BSDs run higher than Linux. Like I noticed my ghost BSD, my free BSD. If you watch my last two videos, they were running a lot higher than uh, my Linux do, does. I mean, when I'm running Linux, with the awesome window manager, it should be running at around 400 megabytes of RAM. And this is using almost two gig of RAM. It's like running uh, Windows 10. <laughs> you know what I mean? And also when I was doing the install, I uh, automatically duplicated my swap. So this computer has, this is a real computer by the way, and this computer has eight gigs of RAM. So we have, uh, GNOME calculator installed. I have disk usage. GNOME disk usage. I have GNOME system monitor installed. I have the full LibreOffice suite. Uh, that's LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet program. I have the Word document program installed, LibreOffice Writer. And I have PCMan FM. Now, PCMan FM is really ugly. Uh, uh, the dark theme doesn't work, and it looks like a really old PCMan FM. It doesn't look anything like it does on Linux or Debian. And also, my thumb drive doesn't mount. Now, I had plugged the thumb drive into my computer, and it won't mount in PCMan FM, but I'm able to mount it in the terminal and copy files back and forth. So I'm going to show you that. 
So I'm going to do sudo mount dev sd one i leave a space mnt um and I'm going to put my password in and now I'm going to cd into mount um now it took me some research to figure out how to do this and the reason why is because lsblk doesn't work in here apparently lsblk is a linux thing and of course the bsds are not linux even though they are a unix type operating system and really what the difference is i don't know <laughs> except for i think linux is easier to use <laughs> so let's clear the screen and let's ls it so this is my thumb drive uh, these are the files on my thumb drive and let's just cd out of there let's go back to uh my main folder my home folder and let's ls it so these are all the files that are in the home folder on this openbsd system let's go back to the thumb drive and what i'm going to do is hmm i'm going to copy this dual text into my home directory okay so let's do uh copy dual text into home okay now let's cd out of there and let's let's clear the screen let's ls it and here we have it we have dual text in my home directory now now let's see if we can copy the other way so i'm going to make a new file i'm going to do touch test text okay it's an empty file there's nothing in it right <laughs> so let's clear the screen let's ls it and here's my test file right here let's see if we can copy it onto the thumb drive let's do uh let's mount back onto it so let's cd back onto it cd mnt okay now let's copy home test oops text to here permission denied let's do sudo and now let's clear the screen let's ls it and do we have it here did it there it is right here it copied okay so let's clear the screen and let's see the other there and let's u mount i'm going to unmount mnt sorry i'm going to unmount slash dev sd one i let's try this sudo u mount dev sd one i there we go now it's unmounted you have to use sudo <laughs> okay let's clear the screen i'm going to close my terminal so i don't know why the um and i tried to install nemo and nemo i couldn't find nemo in the repository i don't know why now i also have firefox installed so let's open up firefox and let's go to youtube let's see if we have sound during the last few weeks i've been getting a lot of requests from people wanting me to take a look at open man bug. now i've looked at open man bug many times in the past on camera but it's been a couple of years since the last time i took a look at it okay so the sound is working now of course the sound probably sounded really terrible because i'm recording this with obs studio from my main production computer and I'm using a capture card, which captures the screen from this particular computer that's running OpenBSD. And my capture card doesn't capture the sound. So the sound was coming out of the speakers and my microphone is picking up whatever's coming out of the speakers. And actually my microphone is sitting kind of a couple feet away from my speakers because I have it in front of my face, of course. So that's why the sound sounded terrible, but it doesn't sound terrible in here. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that we have sound. And I have Firefox. Now I also have Remina installed, and Remina is an app that I use to remote into another computer. So let's open up Remina. I'm going to click on this and open up Remina. And I already have a quick connect. I already made it. So I'm going to remote into the computer that's in the living room. I'm going to click it on. And now I'm using Remote Desktop to remote into the computer that's in the living room that's running Arch Linux with the GNOME desktop environment. <laughs> okay. So actually, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm in my main production computer, which is running Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And I have OBS Studio open and it's recording. And the capture card is recording what's going on in my second computer, which is running OpenBSD. With the awesome window manager and that computer using remote desktop has connected to a computer in the living room which is running arch linux with the gnome desktop environment how about that eh <laughs> isn't that interesting folks sorry about that so we can see here we have firefox 
Oh, and let's um, let's go here. Let's open up uh, X term. Let's make that full screen. So we're in Mench at living room, and let's do uh, Neo. I don't know if I have fast fetch in here. Don't remember now. I don't have fast fetch in this computer. Let's do a Neo fetch. So here we are. We're in Arch Linux. This is a Dell Optiplex 790. It's running the GNOME desktop environment. And of course, we're in Xterm with my configuration file. So let's close this terminal. How about that, eh? Isn't that interesting, folks? So let's disconnect. So this is using remote desktop. And of course, none of these are virtual machines. So I'm going to disconnect from there. I'm going to close my Remina app. So now I'm back in my OpenBSD computer running the awesome window manager. And let's just do a Neo fetch. And you can see we're in OpenBSD 7.7. .7. And I really like this logo. It's a fish, by the way. And I really like the OpenBSD uh, logo. I'm not too keen on the FreeBSD. Now, I think FreeBSD is a better... Uh, operating system i think it's easier to use and like i mentioned already freebsd is built upon openbsd turn off my capture card and go back to my main production computer and there we are i'm back i'm back in my main production computer that's recording this whole video like i said it's arch linux with the awesome window manager and that's it in this video i gave you a tour of my computer that's running openbsd using my capture card to record it. And this was the first time that I had a successful install of OpenBSD. And I thought I'd highlight it and, like I said, give you a tour about it. Now, uh, I only installed it once off camera. So I'm hoping, I don't know if I can replicate it so I can record it for you. Because the install was a little different and a little harder than FreeBSD. Well, I'm going to say installing it was harder then installing FreeBSD or GhostBSD. So I don't know if I can replicate the installation, but I'm going to try to do it in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.